This is Dear Shu Mishnah Bura as we continue Simin Lam Yud Beis and today we're going to be learning Sif Yud, Yud Aleph and Yud Beis and we'll be concluding Sif Tes. In yesterday's year we concluded with learning what is the status of hides of tan, of cloth, that the Ibud process was done by a non-Jew. We learned that the whole process needs Kavana Lishma specifically for what you're doing. Sif Reiter at the highest level, Tefillin at the next level, Mezuzah at the bottom and each one could go down but it cannot go up. And we learned that if the guy is the one that does it and the Yisrael is standing there telling him, do it L'Shem, save your Taira. The Ramam said it's no good, because even if you're right there, but we don't believe that the guy listens to you. Whereas the Rosh said it is good, it's kosher, because at that moment he puts it in, we assume he listens to. And we conclude now on the top that the Ramah concludes and says, V'chein Noyakin. And this is the Minuk. Explains the Mishnah Buras of Katan Lamid, V'aminuk l'fi divri achreinam l'chatchil asar sliyakach. Says the Mishnah Buras, you know what the Minuk is from the achreinam is as follows. She yasim ha Yisrael bat, mayor that the Yid should do it on his own, put it inside the city with the right Kavana, the Yoimar Le'akum, and then he should tell the guy, Shekol Shar Melachasi, but she has to always say Gamkin Lishma. Everything else that he should do should also be Lishma. Viach Le'akum Achel Oitzi Be'atzul Atak Nevi Tzarchay Lam Dayal Kavla Say Oid. And after the Yid puts it in, the Yid doesn't have to be there anymore. The guy can take it out and complete the process. Vim Nos and he shall Oid Rois Ba'atzul Le'Tachasid Lishma. Let's say the Yid puts it in Lishma and says nothing and then leaves and the guy knows the job and he goes and he completes it. Says the Prima Godam, calls the Prima Zanam, the Sarachim, but he's not sure if this works. But the Yid, if the Yisrael puts it in, it's okay. But let's say that you did nothing in the beginning. Only at the end he finished off the process. Vlamer Lakum Klaus, she asked Lishma, didn't tell anything to the guy. Zebavadi, Lema Hani, that doesn't work. The Messiahia ain't boy mamish. Helping is nothing. And this happens to be a cloud. It's a bit of a borrowed term, it seems, because usually Messiah doesn't mean to actually do something. Messiah and Allah means when you're standing still and you're implicitly helping. We bask in actually elsewhere in Elchel Shabbos, Elchel Shrefush, and Chaches. We bask in Messiah in Bay Mahamish. But here it's a bit of perhaps a borrowed term, but the Mishmur is as well saying helping is not enough. That's only if he does it together with the guy. Let's say the he does it on his own at the end. He takes it out. Before it completes. Then he puts it back in. And don't protest about those who argue. And this is just a little bit of a different Allah this is reminiscent of. This is reminiscent of the meaning of Ashkenaz of the guard to Bishal Akum. We know that with regard to Bishal Akum, if the guy lights a fire, it's a problem. But if the Yid helps in the cooking process, whether he turns on the fire, whether he stirs the food, whether he puts the food in, the Ashkenazim are makel. So similarly over here, says the Mishtabura, do not be meicha. If even at the end of the process, the Yid takes it out and puts it back in lishma, that's going to be enough. But again, the L'Chathchila is that the Yid starts off the process. The most L'Chathchila, of course, is that he should say it to the guy. And yesterday we learned that there's makel to be meicha like the rush to tell the guy at the moment he puts it in to do it lish. And now we're going to learn Sif Yod, Yod Alpha, and Yod Beis. Says the Mechamek, Shem Esananin, and the Kavim, B'Marzea, Kein Oisies, Avo Bish, and Nekal, Lein Yehudi, Lezayif, Ein Chayshim, we're not worried. Misham the mirsas in Yudi ben Yaki saw but Tviyas Ayin, because we're afraid that the guy may recognize the Yid with Tviyas Ayin. Says Mishmuras of Kadin Yud Aleph, or Sheiv the Shlal Lishma. If we have a hide that was tanned without the proper kavana, Im Yish Tikin Lachzul Ad Lishma, can you fix it? He's part of the Yerdei Seminary Shaina. If he doesn't explain, but we'll just point out that was really the Mishnah that we just saw. The Mishnah that we just saw just said that detail. That was that if the Yid takes it out and puts it back in, then the Mishnah Bura Paskind before it's complete, it's going to be enough. Says the Mishnah Shulchan Aruch, says Yud Beis Yaklav me or behema v'chay of oif at oirim. The klav has to come from pure animals. I feel the minavela tree for Shalem, even if the animal wasn't have a proper shechita, it's an avela or a trefa. But if the animal is a kosher animal, it's enough. 
to me, it can't come from an unkosher animal. It says the Torah of Hashem should be in your mouth. Me min amutu beficha darshins the Gemara. Vloi me ardaga fi the Torah cannot be from a kosher fish. Misham the nafish zuama says that the Mishnah Bura said katan lam and aleph betviyas ayin going back in seven yod shenasim b'simanim he puts it in the simanim or sheilu and he calls him nasi yosim mechadish mishaloi v'yeshayim shechta beroish befnim b'makom shein derech laavi deroish you should do it in the beginning v'yishar aksav and achar ibod v'lo yisamin b'marseya machmas chadash ziyav to be evidy yishalakim shachan aruch before we conclude I think we have a few nice pictures over here. Let's just see. First of all, this is really going back to yesterday. You see that uh, the Yid is putting the hide in and he's saying he's putting in for Kedushas Tefillin as he puts it in to the Sid. Over here you have the showing us that the Mayan process of yesterday was not the pro- not the, where you needed the Kavana, but rather it was at the Sid process. These are the Bira Lachas, which we did not see. And now we're continuing over here that these are depicting very nicely of the Yid and the guy over here. We have the Yid telling the guy, put it in for this Kavana, etc. Here it's showing us that he's helping him a little bit and all the different cases of the Yid and the guy, how they can partner together to create the Lishma. Finally, we're going to conclude over here with Sif Yid Aleph like we just saw. A beautiful picture. Says, uh, look at this picture, number one over here, shows us exactly what we're referring to. Let's say, you're making it the, the tzura of the isis, so that the guy does not switch it. You're putting a simon on the cloth. It's almost like a watermark. You're putting a simon on the cloth so that the guy doesn't switch it. It says in Shulchan Aruch, and you has to be, the, what your, your watermark has to be like an ice. But stama simon is not enough, as it shows over here in picture bays. And finally, it says over here that even though because we're afraid that he, what if he's going to come along and he could be mezayif? He could forge your watermark. We're not chayshish for this because the Yisrael is going to recognize the Tviyas Ayin that he is not the one that created it. And that is Sif Yud over here teaching us the importance of having not only creating the cloth of Lishma, but ensuring that it's always going to be Lishma, creating a sim and a sign, a proper watermark, a proper letter that cannot be forged that the Israel will realize what happened when creating the cloth and we'll pick it up from Sifiyud Gimel in the next year.